The International Account Standard Board has proposed a new IFRS standard that aims to give investors better information about the financial performance of companies that are subject to rate regulation. Some companies, for example, in the utility sector or in the public transport, are subject to rate regulation that establish how much and when the company can charge its customers for goods or services supplied to them. Under this type of rate regulation, the regulated rate for goods or services supplied to customers in one period may include an amount that is, in fact, part of the compensation for goods or services that were supplied in a previous period or that will be supplied in a future period. When this happens, a difference in timing arises. In other words, the period when a company supplies goods or services differs from the period when part of the compensation for those goods or services is included in revenue. This means that when differences in timing arise, the revenue in a reporting period gives an incomplete picture of the compensation for goods or services supplied in that period. The lack of complete information makes it difficult for investors to understand the relationship between its company's revenues and expenses. Ultimately, it makes it difficult to assess the company's prospects for future cash flows. The proposed new IFRS standard aims to inform investors about how differences in timing caused by rate regulation affects companies' financial performance and financial position. The proposed standard is based on the principle that a company's reported financial performance for a period should reflect the compensation for goods or services supplied in that period. To implement that principle, companies would be required to account for the regulatory asset and regulatory liabilities that arise from this difference in timing in their balance sheet. And in the income statement, company would account for the corresponding regulatory expenses and income. Together with information already required by other IFRS standards, this new information would enable investors to better understand the relationship between a company's revenue and expenses. It would help them understand the company's regulatory assets and regulatory liabilities and to assess better the company's prospects for future cash flows. The proposed standard would replace IFRS 14, which is an interim standard that allows companies to continue using local requirements in accounting for the effects of rate regulation. The board is asking stakeholders to give their feedback on the proposed new standard by 3rd June. Thank you.